in this section we'll continue with uh, bgp dampening feature uh, our main task here will be to verify the bgp dampening feature here so what i'm going to do is to verify that i got three routers and router 3 is uh, is belonging to a 600 it's going to advertise the route to router 2 and the router 2 is going to implement dampening feature for the routes received from a bgp neighbor and if the route is dampened there are it's not going to advertise to router 1 so we'll verify one by one where we'll manually flap the links and we'll try to verify the dampening things. So the first thing what I'll do is I need to configure default eBGP configurations like router one and two, normal eBGP and this is eBGP configurations. And then I'll, I'm also using one loopback interface on router one, router two, router three, just for testing purpose. So that uh, I can shut down the link and, it, and the link can come back again. Just for testing, I'm using LAN and the loopback. So on the router one, no auto summary, no synchronization. I'm going to say neighbor 1.1.1.2 remote is is 500, which is internal BGP neighbor, and then network utilizing the LAN interface, and also I'm going to use one loopback interface. So not mandatory, but I just I'm just using the loopback also for testing purpose. Assume there are two networks which are advertised by router one and I'm not advertising the one interfaces and that's it so that's it that's it on the router one I'll go to router two and I'll say router PGP 500 and the router two is peering with two routers 1.1.1.1 remote AS is 500 that is router one and peering with 2.2.2.2 remote AS is 600 which is my eBGP neighbor and the network 20 dot network and also advertising my 12 dot network which is my loopback of router 2 with a slash 24 subnet mask done and going to router 3 router 3 also i'll configure router bgp 600 which is my external bgp neighbor now i'm going to say neighbor 2.2.2.1 remote as is 500 and then i need to say network 30 dot network and then 13 dot network that's it no auto summary by default in it's disabled and no synchronization is also disabled in most of the highways so i don't need to get into those commands again and again now if you verify the configuration you can see no synchronization no auto summary is something default so we can skip this configurations in general but uh, the best practice to add those commands because we we don't know exactly whether they are enabled or disabled so in my case it is disabled so the first thing what i'll do is i'll go to router 2 which is uh, the middle router is forming the neighborship with both the routers router 1 and router 3 and if i verify show ip bgp i can see 11 12 and i should see 13 as well data advertise 13 so it's not advertised properly actually uh, the reason is you, can, you know this on the loop back i'm using slash 24 subnet mask if you advertise with slash 8 it's going to mismatch it's not going to advertise so that's the reason some of the basic troubleshooting in bgp uh, 600 and then i need to say no network 13.000 and then i need to advertise 13.000 so this 13. network is the one which we are going to flap for verification because it is coming from external bgp neighbor shutting down this interface and not shutting down now if i go to router 2 router 2 is the one where we are going to apply the dampening so the command is show ip bgp dampening features now you can see dampening is not enabled because we did not enable on any of the routers and by default it will be disabled so what we need to do we need to apply so i'm going to say router bgp 500 i'm simply going to say bgp dampening that's it i'm not going to use any route map I'm not going to use any timers, everything, penalty, reuse time, half time, suppress value, everything I'm going to leave them to default. And when I say BGP dampening, it's going to apply for all of your routes which are learned from external BGP neighbor. So I'm just going with this command. So once I do this, once I apply this command, let me just do one more thing, uh, changing the next hops, next hop on the router 2 towards router 1 okay let me apply bgp dampening so once i apply bgp dampening 
Now if I verify show IP BGP dampening parameters and before I do that I'll also debug the command BGP debug BGP dampening IP BGP dampening for verification because I should see some uh, messages on the back end the dampening messages based on that I can try at least try to figure out what is happening here. So you can see it's still reconfiguring this in progress so we need to wait for some time. So after some time what you will see you'll see something like this. So once I configure dampening you'll see the messages here. Now when I give show IP BGB dampening parameters you'll see the similar kind of output which I discussed previously where you'll see the dampening is enabled and there's no route map which means it is going to apply for all the routes. Let's see show IP BGP dampening parameters still is applying so meantime we'll discuss this after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the router 3 loop back interface shutting down and no shutdown that is what we are flapping okay let's see now you can see the message here the created dampening structures with the half time the default timers and now if I give show IP BGP dampening parameters these are the default values applied for all now verification time now whenever you uh, we have any route flapping let's say what I'll do is I'll go to router 1 and I'll try to shut down the loop back into router 3 I'll try to shut down and no shut down the interface now I, I forgot to discuss in my previous session uh, there is something called history state now whenever a route flap for the first time after the single route flap the route is assigned a penalty and the dampening state is set to history so which means for the first time whenever you have a specific route flaps you verify you'll see something called h here h represents history you can see in the show ip bgp output which is going to say that okay the route flap has occurred for the first time now it is still going to advertise this route to router 1 and but router 2 is going to mark it as history which means it has added some penalty and to verify that you can use show IP BGP command and after that once it reaches the maximum suppress time because the first time if it flaps what is the penalty it is going to apply 1000 which means it will be in a history state still it is going to advertise to the other neighbor but when it flaps for the next time probably the penalty goes to 2000 maybe 2000 or 1900 somewhere around because uh, periodically based on some TK timers algorithm it is going to reduce to 950 uh, 930 something like that so maybe it will be around 1900 to 2000 values and once it reaches 2000 or exceeds 2000 it is going to automatically mark this history H will be shown as D that's what dampening let me show you the output here so probably at the time when I verify uh, the lab practically uh, so I may not get the output probably so you can see here this is what damp and the reason is this route is in dampening you'll see D as once it reaches the suppress limit now this is something what I'm supposed to show you you can see dampening and the reason is the penalty is something more than 2000 so let me try to quickly do this hopefully I get a proper output here so I'll go to router and I'll try to shut down so before I shut down I want to show you one thing the output before I shut down it's normal there's no penalty applied and if you verify show IP BGP for that 13 node loop back it's just like a normal BGP update but once I shut down and wait for the uh, link to go down and then no shutdown command I applied and once I do this I can see some debug outputs here penalty is applied flap count is 1 and the penalty is applied for 13 dot network and the half time everything and if I verify show IP BGP once again you can see H H represents history and if I go to show IP BGP 13 dot network now this time I can see again uh, I should see some dampening information penalty is to actually it applies 1000 after some periodic time once it reduces a little bit to 980 and after some time if you verify once again it might go to less than that now still the route is advertised to router 1 and the reason is the reason is very simple because it has not reached the limit the maximum suppress limit we can the suppress points it has not reached that 
So what I'll do is for verification, I'll shut down one more time and I'll give no shutdown once again. Now the flap count goes to two. Now if I verify show IP BGP, still it is in history because the reason is the point is 1940, it's not less than 2000. So let me shut down one more time to increase it. Shut down. Now once I shut down, the link goes down and I'm going to give no shutdown. So I should see apply so it's not applied let me let me do it so sometimes shut down when you shut down the link so it will take some time for convergence now to overcome this what you can do is you can probably change the timers to have a proper output so it's still not so to have a proper output what I can do is I can change the timer on the BGP let's say what I'll do is I'll simply change the timer faster convergence now you can see it has applied now now it has applied I'll show you the command to verify because you know BGP periodically send 60 seconds so then dot zero 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 now it has reached the maximum uh, it has exceeded the 2000 so when I say show IP BGP you should see so I need to apply that command just a minute I'll say neighbor 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2, advertise meant interval just make it as zero and similar way I'll do it for 1.1.1.1 just for faster convergence because when you don't apply these commands you there is a possibility that you don't get a proper outputs okay let me check show IP BGP dampening uh, flap statistics now the interface has flapped three times now it's still showing as it has to change to D actually that's what I was expecting you can see the router 1 is not receiving okay now you can see uh, it has changed there has been some penalty I can see that the route is suppressed due to dampening now I should see show IP BGP sometimes you don't sh you shut down the interface and if you forgot to give no shutdown then probably that it will still will be in the history state so it will take some time now you can see it's dampened and the reason for that is show IP BGP 13.000 suppressed due to dampening feature now the penalty is 2481 now once it reaches to 750 probably it will try to reuse again it will reuse around around as per the calculation it will be used after three minutes after three minutes probably it will be getting into that uh, that stage as per the calculation process it has flapped three times because I have flapped the links three times and you have some more commands you can try which will be BGP dampening uh, dampening paths it's going to show you which routes are getting dampened and you can see the state also D and also there's one more command you can use show IP BGP dampening parameters already we did flap statistics it's going to show you the same information how many times the link has flapped and what's the network right now what is the current state it is damped and it's coming from which AS path now this way we can verify so I'm going to remove the dampening feature now globally so I'm going to say router BGP 500 and I'm going to say no BGP dampening so which means there is no dampening applied on my routers here so it's not enabled but this time what I'll do is I want to apply dampening only for specific routes let's take an example I I want to apply dampening not for each and every route I want to apply for only specific routes now the first thing you need to decide what are those specific routes you, need, you want to use so I'm going to say let's say there is a network called 13.000 So I'll use 13.000 is the network which I'm going to use and that network has to be damped with slash 24 subnet mask. If you want to have more number of networks you can just add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an ACL 13 which is going to match that network and then I'll use a route map statement and then I can apply the dampening parameters. So let me quickly do that. Now I can go to router 2. The first thing you need to create an access list which is going to permit 
whatever the network you want to apply dampening and I'm just applying for only one network here now instead of applying directly I'm going to create a route map which is going to say match IP address 13 which means whatever the networks I have defined in the ACL 13 is going to match the networks and it's say set dampening now here you have to define the parameters like what is the half time of the penalty default is 15 if you just want to go with the default values you can go with the default values you can still change as per the requirement now I'm going to go with the default values. so what is the penalty uh, to start reusing it's 750 so I'll go with 750 default uh, you can change it uh, here itself and penalty starts suppressing it out the default is 2000 so I'll go with the default 2000 and the maximum suppress time it has to be uh, more than 15 it has to be four times of that I'm going with 60 default values or I can change it to the dampening uh, what is the half time half time is two minutes and then I'll say 750 is the reuse time 2000 will be a suppress penalty 750 is a re, uh, reuse points 2000 is your suppress points and then I can say what is the fourth value fourth value is the maximum duration to suppress a route right done and for the remaining routes let's say for all the remaining routes also you want to apply but if you want to leave them as a default without dampening then we just need to simply leave this command blank and if you want to apply dampening to them so you can also apply for the remaining routes what dampening parameters you want to apply so I'm not applying that so now if I say show IP BGP dampening parameters dampening is not enabled so I need to apply it on the BGP now this route map I need to go to router BGP 500 route BGP dampening now I'm not going to change the values now if you want to change the values for all the routes you can even change it from here I'm going to simply say route map and the name of the route map is CCI that's it so now if I verify show IP BGP dampening parameters I should see debug command is already enabled so once the dampening is applied you can see the message here creating the dampening structures with whatever the time we have created so now if I give show IP BGP dampening parameters these are the parameters and it is applied for only route map CCI 10 so it's, it's just applied for that now for verification you can just go with a similar kind of verification you can probably go to that interface shut down but one thing we need to keep in mind whenever we are using dampening things now uh, when you are shutting down the interfaces you have to give some time before you give it no shutdown and the BGP dampening only apply for the routes learned from eBGP neighbor and these timers uh, timers or something we can apply these values or the default values you can use or you can use any of the other values as per your requirement 